1945, a brutal civil war erupted in China, with the communist-led People's Republic of China fighting to take control from the Kuomintang, the KMT, and topple the Republic of China. It was the PRC versus the ROC. When the war finally ended in 1949, the communists took control of China and the KMT relocated to Taiwan and maintained the ROC governing system. Even though the KMT had retreated to Taiwan, they still believed that the ROC was the rightful ruler of China and that one day they would go back and tear down the communist regime. This created a challenge for the International Olympic Committee because there can only be one team per country and both the PRC and the ROC laid claim to represent China. Initially, the ROC was recognized as the one team for China, but in 1952, in order to appease the Chinese Communist Party, the Olympic Committee demanded that the ROC use a different name. The KMT could not accept the demands and they withdrew from the games. And in 1952, China competed for the first time in the Olympic Games as the People's Republic of China. From today's perspective, it might seem strange that the KMT was so adamant about their return to control China. But this was the beginning of the Cold War, and anti-communist sentiment was at an all-time high around the world. Everyone knows that there is a separate government in Taiwan which is recognized internationally and specifically by the United Nations consisting of the governments of the world. Your government is not recognized by the United Nations. By the Summer Olympics of 1956, the Communists boycotted the Games and throughout the 1960s withdrew from international sport altogether. Without Chinese opposition, the ROC was allowed to compete in the Olympic Games for nearly a decade, and they quickly and commonly became known as Team Taiwan. The KMT leaders hated this, and they insisted that the team be known as the Republic of China. They knew all too well how important international representation was for the survival of the ROC. Everything changed in 1971, when China was admitted to the United Nations and Taiwan was expelled. The United Nations General Assembly voted last night to admit Communist China and expel Nationalist China. The moment was a turning point in history, foreshadowing vast changes in international relations. Right away, China demanded that Taiwan be taken out of the Olympics, which created this dramatic scene at the Canadian border, just days before the 1976 Olympic opening ceremony. Is Canada prepared to allow a Republic of China team to participate in these games under that name? We are not prepared to have public proclamation in Canada of anybody purporting to represent the Republic of China. The Taiwan team, the Republic of China, what was your reaction to the news that uh, Canada was not going to allow you folks to represent China? I didn't expect it to be like this at the last moment. So you had no indication at all, or your government had no indication at all that Canada was going to resort to this? No, we didn't have any indication. If IOC has any guts, they should stand up to the Canadian government and say, these people are going to race, are going to march, are going to do everything according to our rules. The International Olympic Committee did not ban or ask Taiwan not to take part. They would not, the Republic of China, change their name to Taiwan. We announce that the Republic of China Olympic Committee cannot accept the proposal put forth by the Executive Committee of the International Olympic Committee to change the Republic of China name to Taiwan. It's a really incredible moment in history that the Olympics insisted that Taiwan compete as Taiwan but the KMT demanded to be called the Republic of China. The Olympics tried to arrange a meeting between China, the ROC, and the Olympic Committee. But once again, the KMT leaders refused to enter into talks with China and wouldn't attend the meeting. We have not had any official communications from uh, Taiwan. Shortly after this, it was determined that Taiwan could compete in the Olympics, but only if they called themselves Chinese Taipei, fly a non-political flag, and they will never be permitted to play the national anthem of the ROC. 